you can see in the background, Tesco's has just been, it's absolutely, you can see it's all over the place, look. It's absolutely freezing out, poor bloke, he was so cold, love him. Anyway, my shopping this week came to a grand total of, well, it came to £62.58, but it was a lot more than that. It was £19.50 more than that. But I actually paid £62.58 for it, but I had vouchers. Um, so that was good. And also, I got um, a further £2 off, um, so the chap told me. And I also got a um, 10 p off fuel as well. Bargain. So there you go. So that's my Tesco's shopping this week. I'm going to do a slightly different um, haul than what I normally do. Normally I go, this is this, this is this, this is what I'm cooking. So I'm going to do it slightly differently in that this is what I'm cooking, so it's not quite... <laughs> this is one of the books that I'm going to be cooking from this week. So it's Light and Healthy, um, Best Food Fast. I picked both of these books up. I've got another one here. And that's Cook Yourself Thin. And I picked up both of these books in charity shops um, back in Somerset. Um, and I picked them up really, really cheaply. And um, it's just a really good way of picking up some different ideas. Um, rather than always trawling through the internet and stuff like that. I quite like a book, I must admit. I know they take up a bit of room. But if you've not paid a lot for them, you can take ones you like. And then, you know, give it to someone else. You know, let them have a look at it. You know, pass it on. Pass the love on. So, what are we going to do? Page 38, which is a tray bake. And it's a fish tray bake. That's it going on here. And you've got all your vegetables underneath. And you've got your fish on top and some lemon and some fresh herbs. So, it's an all-in-one supper. It takes 10 minutes to prepare and 40 minutes to cook. Um, and the chef's tip is, not mine, the chef's tip, is that you choose um, a white fish that's quite a firm fish. Now, I didn't buy this tonight from Tesco. The fish I bought from Lidl's the other week, and it was such a good buy that I bought two lots. And it's this bassa, and it is a really firm fish, so it'll be ideal for this fish tray bake. And I got this in Lidl's for £1.75 and it's frozen. So if you go and have a look, if they've still got it, get yourself a couple of bags because it is such good value. I mean, there's two huge great fillets in there, so that would be brilliant for Jess and I. So that's for the fish tray bake. And um, to go with that, you're just going to want like um, peppers, um, lemons, a courgette. Um, some sweet potatoes and a few baby plum tomatoes that'd be nice and some um, red onions and things like that and I also suggest that you put in there some cumin seeds some coriander seeds and um, some fresh coriander chopped up sprinkled over the top um, you could also sit it on the side of a bit of um, you know rocket like a nice green salad or something like that that'd look quite nice to accompany it just to fill you up a little bit more. So that's one of the dishes that I'm going to be cooking this week with some of my shopping. Uh, the other dish that I'm going to do is a cauliflower gratin. Now that's in the same book, The Light and Healthy, and it is on page 82. And it looks like that. So cauliflower gratin. I just love cauliflower. It's such a such a nice, versatile bed. You can do such a lot with cauliflower. And um, this one takes 15 minutes to prepare and only 30 minutes to cook. So a nice, quick, easy tea. Um, and you put, um, again, you're going to want um, some, some eggs and you're going to want a lemon just to give it a bit of zing. And I'm going to put in there a few um, mushrooms, so I've got some nice mushrooms and they come up, they come in a little cardboard box, look, nice and recyclable, I like that, well done Tesco's, put lots of other stuff in recyclable, pla in recyclable um, cardboard please, not plastic, look after the environment, 
All these, all these, all these poor animals that are eating all this plastic in the sea. It's awful at the moment. It's on the news. Every time we put the news on, it's dreadful. So we can cut back on plastic. That would be lovely. So I'm really impressed with my mushrooms being in cardboard. That's brilliant. Thank you, Tesco's. So that's that. Um, they've just fallen over, and now I've got mushrooms going everywhere. That's about right. And you do need to make a uh, white sauce to go in that. And you put in um, three ounces of double Gloucester cheese. But you could put in um, a low-fat cheese, um, you know, put your 25 grams in. Or if you're doing it for two people, you know, you know how it goes. And it has uh, plain yoghurt and it also has some breadcrumbs. So I've got these natural breadcrumbs. And um, per serving is 36 calories. So... There's nothing in it. There's a sin, just over a sin, in a serving of that that's going to go in the the gratin. So you've got your cauliflower, your cheese, your white sauce, um, some sweet corn, a boiled egg, and mushrooms. I just think that looks really, really tasty and really nice. And I tell you what would look nice with that would be a nice bit of salmon. That would go nice in there, or even just something like some uh, crispy bacon. Uh, chopped up and put in amongst it that'd be really tasty supper so that's that that's another tea and then we are going to have a tuna and chili spaghetti so i've got some um of the princess tuna and this is in spring water which is free if you're on slimming world and i'm going to do it with some um naught percent yogurt and a bit of lemon and some chilies, and I'm going to probably do a tagliatelle, so that'll be really tasty. And run it all through, and have a nice thick sort of tagliatelle sauce with the tuna. So that's another tea. And then finally, I'm going to do a crispy chicken, and that's in my other book in page 133. Hang on, I've gone too far. There we go. And it's a crispy chicken with homemade coleslaw. So there it is. There it is there. Uh, the homemade coleslaw. I have done a coleslaw. On, coleslaw, that sounded a bit funny. I have done coleslaw on my YouTube channel. So um, if you want to have a look for that. Um, and all I do is a red cabbage, white cabbage, carrots. Um, a, I normally use a red onion. Not too much of it though. And then I sometimes put in their fruits, you can put grapes in there or a bit of apple and put some lemon juice in and some natural yoghurt and um, a bit of cucumber, that sort of thing. And a bit of seasoning. Uh, you can get like um, Italian seasoning and salad seasonings, you know like the, the, sh the shaky seasonings. Put some of that in there and mix that through, a bit of salt and pepper. And that makes a really lovely coleslaw. And you'll be surprised, a quarter of a cabbage, red cabbage, and a quarter of a white cabbage, a couple of carrots, you'll have a massive, great, party-sized bowl of coleslaw. So that would be really good. Um, I've got some pak choy. I did think I'd put that in the tray bake um, with the fish. Absolutely love pak choy. If you've not had pak choy, it normally goes in with Chinese cooking. So when you're doing like a stir fry, something like that, you put chat pak choy in and it just is lovely. It's so fresh and crisp and just oh, really tasty with some soy sauce. I could just eat a bowl full of that, just with some ginger and some garlic and some soy sauce and just put it in your wok and turn that around and cook that through for a bit and put that on a plate with some sesame seeds. <laughs> I'm making my mouth off. Some sesame seeds um, sprinkled on top. Beautiful. <laughs> so that's that. So we've got all the sort of, you know, I've got stocked up on some extras that I always sort of have in the store, like my store cupboard essentials, I would say. Uh, Japanese rice wine vinegar. I would put a little bit of that in with my pak choy. If I was cooking my pak choy. Along with a little splash of red wine vinegar. Just to mm -mm -mm it up. And maybe a little bit of red chilli going in there with that pak choy. That would be nice. And then chop up a little bit of coriander at the end and just sprinkle a little bit of coriander on top when you're sprinkling on those sesame seeds. Um, some more store covered things. I have got some more coriander and some garam masala and some Italian seasoning. 
So there's your Italian seasoning that you can put in with your coleslaw. Tesco's do it. I do find Lidl's don't have a good selection of these. Um, they'll have like salt, pepper, garlic salt, um, paprika, and maybe chilli. Um, and It's quite limited. It, it's not huge. Their, their spice rack isn't huge in Lidl's. So I do tend to go to Tesco's and get my, my spices. I've got some more passata and I've got a half hundred weight of loo rolls. They're always good to have, aren't they? <laughs> um, loads of um, dishwasher tablets. They were on special. I um, can't remember how much did I pay. Let me show you because they were on special. So they were. Uh, of course, I can't find them now. come back to you in a minute because that's a bit boring watching me hold a packet of these up. £10 for 48 washes. I don't think that was too bad for a tenner because they'll buy cheap ones and it don't wash the blooming plates properly. So, you know, it's a bit of a false economy because then I've got to put it through again. So, yeah. Anyway, um, a load of Cokes. We are a bit of a Diet Coke. Well, my husband is, Jason. He's a bit of a Diet Coke fiend. He loves Diet Coke. And I got some, um, I love this, lamb's lettuce leaf. Really, really, it's got the, like a sort of a pepperiness to it. Really nice. If you mix it with a bit of rocket and a bit of that, it makes a lovely little green salad, really nice. And then some natural yoghurt and a little bit of pesto, just a spoonful of pesto in your natural yoghurt. A little bit of coriander chopped up. That makes a lovely little green salad. Um... And then I've just got, um, you know, some tins. I've got uh, green lentils and black beans. Because I might do, with some of the pak choy, um, some chicken um, in a black bean sauce with pak choy. And, um, you know, so some crispy vegetables. Um, like red pepper, red onion, uh, a bit of carrot sliced up quite thinly. And um, then I might put a few, a um, little bit of sweet corn in there. And a couple of these things to, a bit of splash of that in there as well. Um, or I might make it a bit sweet and soury. So yeah, so you know, you just got to mix it up really and make it interesting. So that's my shopping. Uh, there are lots of other bits and pieces. There's dog food and there's um, there's milk and there's fruit. There's tomatoes and, you know, apples and grapes. But plums, you know. There's a week's load of shopping here, but I just wanted you to sort of see the main bits and pieces that I will be cooking with this week. So if you fancy watching any of these tutorials, don't forget to sign in. Don't forget to um, press the little bell uh, down by where you subscribe. Because if you press that, the little bell, click on it, when I put a video up, which I know is quite often, <laughs> you'll get a notification to tell you that there is a video ready for you to watch. And I'll be there, smiling, all happy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you want to see more of this demented woman, tune in. Speak soon.